Welcome to God's Own TV. Almighty God, we grant your request. The General Overseer of the Deeper Life Bible Church, Pastor Williams Kumui, has finally revealed why he remarried again months after the death of his first wife. Recall that on the 11th of April 2009, Pastor Kumui's first wife, Mrs. Abiodun Kumui, went to be with the Lord. Less than two years later, Pastor Kumui got married again to his current wife, Mrs. Folashade at Denike Blaze in October 2010. However, while addressing his congregation on a Sunday service at his church headquarters, the man of God stated his reason for marrying immediately than expected. According to him, he personally vowed not to marry again, but that was not God's will for him. He noted that after the death of his first wife, God told him to remarry because it is better to marry again than to burn. And that's why God told me, God revealed to me, I should marry. That is better to marry than to burn. That's the commandment of the Lord. Furthermore, he also shared an experience he had at a church he was invited to minister after he had remarried. According to him, the church had a doctrine that stated, if anyone loses his or her spouses, the person should not marry again. I was invited somewhere and uh, they called me to teach and they said I could teach everything and anything in the Bible. They brought their ministers together I was to teach them and I taught and taught and taught and, but they have one kind of doctrine in their fellowship that if you lose your first wife that you shouldn't marry again and i lost my first wife and i married again and i went i honored their invitation and i went a lot of things happened which they could not deny even their pastor he was interpreting for me and when I was praying, I said, somebody there, you're almost blind. But now, I didn't know it was my interpreter. The Lord will heal you now. Raise up your hand. He kept on interpreting. And I prayed. And the following day, he came. And he said, church people, do you know, I had lost 80% of my sight. And... He said, Dr. So-and-so in the congregation, can you stand up? The doctor stood up. And he said, Doctor, tell our church how my sight was. The pastor said, only 20% of sight remained. And um, yesterday, when our guest speaker was speaking in prayer, and he said, this, this, I was the man. And this morning, as we were coming to church, I could read all the signboard. I could see everything clearly. It was like, I have a new eyesight. That's all the clapping headquarters can do. Amen. But now we came to the minister's session. That one was general meeting. Now, and uh, I give them chance to ask, they ask question here, I answer question there, answered. Now, the final question. Pastor, you lost your wife. True. We heard, and not only that we heard, we have seen you came with a new wife. Said yes. They said, why? I said, why are you asking me such a question? Oh, they said, because here, this is their vow. Oh, I said, that's not my vow. What God reveals, I do. And that's why God told me, God revealed to me, I should marry. That is better to marry than to burn. That's the commandment of the Lord. They, they didn't want the commandment of the Lord. They wanted vow. What do you want? Go back to those commandments. I've read commandments to you from Matthew to Revelation. That one is greater than any vow. If you've lost your wife, don't make a foolish vow. You've lost your wife. You've lost. Go back to the word of God. As many as are led. By the Spirit of God, 
obey you are the children of God.